Namaste, Tandava Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Sri Mad Bhagavatam, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 3, The Status Quo, Chapter 29, Text 13. Salokya Sharsti Samipya Sarupya Katvam Aputu Diamanam Nagrinanti Inamat Sevanam Jana. A pure devotee does not accept any kind of liberation. Salokya, Sharsti, Samipya, Sarupya, or Ikatva, even though they are offered by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Purport. Lord Chaitanya teaches us how to execute pure devotional service out of spontaneous love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the Shikshastaka, he prays to the Lord, O Lord, I did not wish to gain from you any wealth, nor do I wish to have a beautiful wife, nor do I wish to have many followers. All I want from you is that in life after life, I may remain a pure devotee at your lotus feet. There is a similarity between the prayers of Lord Chaitanya and the statements of Srimad Bhagavatam. Lord Chaitanya prays in life after life, indicating that a devotee does not even desire the cessation of birth and death. The yogis and empiric philosophers desire cessation of the process of birth and death. Um, but the devotee is satisfied even to remain in this material world and execute devotional service. It is clearly stated herein that a pure devotee does not desire a katva, oneness with the Supreme Lord, as desired by the impersonalists, the mental speculators, and the meditators. To become one with the Supreme Lord is beyond the dream of a pure devotee. Sometimes he may accept promotion to the Vaikuntha planets to serve the Lord there, but he will never uh, accept merging into the Brahman effulgence, which he considers worse than the hellish. Such a katva or merging into the effulgence of the Supreme Lord is called Kaivalya, but the happiness derived from Kaivalya is considered by the pure devotee to be hellish. The devotee is so fond of rendering service to the Supreme Lord that the five kinds of liberation are not important to him. If one is engaged in pure transcendental loving service to the Lord, it is understood that he has already achieved the five kinds of liberation. When a devotee is promoted to the spiritual world by Kunta, he receives four kinds of facilities. One of these is Salokya, living on the same planet as the Supreme Personality. The Supreme Person and his different planary expansions lives on innumerable Vaikuntha planets and the chief is Krishna Loka. Just as within the material universe, the chief planet is the sun, in the spiritual world, the chief planet is Krishna Loka. From Krishna Loka, the bodily effulgence of Lord Krishna is distributed not only to the spiritual world, but to the material world as well. It is covered by matter, however, in the material world. In the spiritual world, there are innumerable Vaikuntha planets, and on each one of them, the Lord is pre the predominating deity. A devotee can be promoted to one such Vaikuntha planet and live with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In Sharsti, liberated um, liberation, the opulence of the devotee is equal to the opulence of the Supreme Lord. Samipya means to be a personal associate of the Supreme Lord. In Sarupya, liberation, the bodily features of the devotee are exactly like those of the Supreme Person, but for two or three symptoms found exclusively on the transcendental body of the Lord. The uh, Srivatsa, for example, the hair on the chest of the Lord, particularly distinguishes him from his devotees. A pure devotee does not accept these five kinds of spiritual existence, even if they are offered. And he certainly does not hanker after material benefits, which are all insignificant in comparison with spiritual benefits. 
When Prahlad Maharaj was offered some material benefit, he stated, My Lord, I have seen that my father achieved all kinds of material benefits, and even the demigods were afraid of his opulence. But still, in a second, you have finished his life and all his material prosperity. For a devotee, there is no question of desiring any material or spiritual prosperity. He simply aspires to serve the Lord. That is his highest happiness. Text 14. Saiva bhakti yoga kya atyantika udharta yinat vraja yinati kinati vraja tragunam madbhava yo papadyate. By attaining the highest platform of devotional service, as I have explained, one can overcome the influence of the three modes of material nature and be situated in the transcendental stage, as is the Lord. Purport. Sripad Shankaracharya, who is supposed to be the leader of the impersonalist school of philosophers, has admitted in the beginning of his comments on Bhagavad Gita that Narayan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is beyond material creation. Except for him, everything is within the material creation. It is also confirmed in Vedic literature that before the creation, there was only Narayan. Neither Lord Brahma nor Lord Shiva existed. Only Narayan, or the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu or Krishna, is always in the transcendental position beyond the influence of material creation. The material qualities of goodness, passion, and ignorance cannot affect the position of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, he is called Nirguna, free from all tinges of material qualities. Here, the same fact is confirmed by Lord Kapila. One who is situated in pure devotional service is transcendentally situated, as is the Lord. Just as the Lord is unaffected by the influence of the material modes, so too are his pure devotees. One who is not affected by the three modes of material nature is called the liberated soul or Brahma Bhutta soul. Brahma Bhutta Prasanatma is the stage of liberation. Aham Brahmasmi, I am not this body. This is applicable only to the person who constantly engages in devotional service of Krishna and is thus in the transcendental stage. He is above the influence of the three modes of material nature. It is the misconception of the impersonalist that one can worship any imaginary form of the Lord or Brahman and at the end merge in the Brahman effulgence. Of course, to merge into the bodily effulgence Brahman of the Supreme Lord is also liberation, as explained in the previous verse. A katvam is also liberation, but that sort of liberation is never accepted by any devotee. Her qualitative oneness is immediately attained as soon as one is situated in devotional service. For a devotee, that qualitative equality, which is the result of impersonal liberation, is already attained. He does not have to try for it separately. It is clearly stated here that simply by pure devotional service, one becomes qualitatively as good as the Lord himself. Text 15. Nishevite nanitmena Svadharmena mahiyasa Kriya yogena shastena Natihim shrena nityasa A devotee must execute his prescribed duties, which are glorious, without material profit. Without excessive violence, one should regularly perform one's devotional activities. Purport. One has to execute his prescribed duties according to his social position as a Brahma, Kshatriya, Vaishya, or Sudra. The pre prescribed duties of the four classes of men in human society are also described in Bhagavad Gita. The activities of Brahmanas are to control the senses and to become simple, clean, and learned devotees. The Kshatriyas have the spirit for ruling, and they are not afraid on the battlefield, and they are charitable. The Vaishyas, or the merchantile class of men, trade in commodities, protect cows, and develop agricultural produce. 
The Shudras or laborer class serve the higher classes because they themselves are not very intelligent. From every position as confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, Svakarmana Tam Abhyarchya, one can serve the Supreme Lord by performing one's prescribed duty. It is not that only the Brahmanas can serve the Supreme Lord and not that Sudras, and, and not that the Sudras. It is not only that the Brahmanas can serve the Supreme Lord and not the Sudras. Anyone can serve the Supreme Lord by performing his prescribed duties under the direction of a spiritual master or a representative of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. No one should think that his prescribed duties are inferior. A Brahmana can serve the Lord by using his intelligence, and the Kshatriya can serve the Supreme Lord by using his military arts, just as Arjuna served Krishna. Arjuna was a warrior. He had no time to study Vedanta or other highly intellectual books. The damsels in Vrajadam were girls born of the Vaishya class, and they were engaged in protecting cows and producing agriculture. Krishna's foster father, Nanda Maharaj, and his associates, uh, associates who were all Vaishyas. They were not at all educated, but they could serve Krishna by loving him and by offering everything to him. Similarly, there are many instances in which Chandalas, or those lower than Sudras, have served Krishna. Also, the sage Vidura was considered a Sudra because his mother also happened to be a Sudra. There are no distinctions, for it is declared by the Lord in Bhagavad Gita that anyone engaged specifically in devotional service um, is elevated to the transcendental position without a doubt. Such loving service must be performed without reason, without impediment, and spontaneously. Krishna is lovable, and one has to serve him in whatever capacity one can. That is pure devotional service. Another significant phrase in this verse is nati himshrena, without, uh, with minimum violence or sacrifice of life. Even if a devotee has to commit violence, it should not be done beyond what is necessary. Sometimes the question is put before us, you ask us not to eat meat, but you are eating vegetables. Do you think that is not violence? The answer is that eating vegetables is violence. And vegetarians are also committing violence against other living entities because vegetables also have life. Non-devotees are killing cows, goats, and so many other animals for eating purposes. And a devotee who is vegetarian is also killing. But, there, uh, but here, significantly, it is stated that every living entity has to live by killing another uh, entity. That is the law of nature. Jivo, jivasya, jivan. One living entity is the life for another living entity. But for a human being, that violence should be committed only as much as necessary. A human being is not to eat anything which is not offered to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yajna Shistashina, Shantaha. One becomes freed from all sinful reactions by eating foodstuffs which are offered to Yajna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. A devotee, therefore, eats only prashad, or foodstuffs offered to the Supreme Lord. And Krishna says that when a devotee offers him foodstuffs from the vegetable kingdom with devotion, he eats them. A devotee is to offer, that, uh, offer the foodstuffs to Krishna prepared from vegetables. If the Supreme Lord wanted foodstuffs prepared from animal food, the devotee could offer this, but he does not, uh, but Krishna does not order to do that. We have to commit violence, that is the natural law. We should not, however, commit violence extravagantly, but only as much as ordered by the Lord. Arjuna engaged in the art of killing, and although killing is, of course, violence, he killed the enemy simply on Krishna's order. In the same way, if we commit violence as is necessary by the uh, order of the Lord, that is called nati himsa. We cannot avoid violence, for we are put in a condition of life in which we have to commit violence. But we should not commit more violence than necessary or than ordered by the Supreme Personality of God. And thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 16 on Friday.
Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Shri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Jai Shri Prabhupada Shri Guru Maharaj Shri Guru Dev Shri Acharya Dev Shri Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Jai Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Our glories to the assembled devotees, our glories to the worldwide devotees, Sama Bhakti Veda Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai Navadvip Dham Ki Jai Nishangapoli Dham Ki Jai Mayapur Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai Balade Subhadra Jagannath Ju Ki Jai Ganga Mayi Amuna Mayi Ki Jai Avrindam Dham Ki Jai Giri Govardhan Gupta Govardhan Dham Ki Jai Shyam Kund Radha Kund Ki Jai Tosi Devi Bhakti Devi Vrinda Devi Ki Jai Jai Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai Jai Scientific Sankirtan Yag Ki Jai Jai Princeton Bhakti Vedanta Institute Ki Jai Sri Chaitanya Sarasvai Institute Ki Jai Sri Chaitanya Sarasvai Mat Ki Jai श्रीपाद कृष्ण केशव प्रभु जी की जय धन्यवाद श्री धन्यवाद